y'all gotta know how to work the system i feel like as much as we pay for these products we should always get some kind of free gift or a sample or something hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel or if you're new thanks for clicking on my video so today i have my ulta 21 days of beauty haul this is the stuff that I got and I ordered over several days and I just put it all in one box so that it'll be easy to show you guys. I'm still counting this as kind of my birthday haul-ish stuff. Look, I have no excuse. If I see a sale and there's something I want, we already know. We, You've been here. I'm going to buy it. It is what it is. So before we get into this haul to see what's in this box... I would like to invite you to join the family if you're new. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know when a new video goes live. Most of my videos are makeup related, as you can see. I will have some more fitness stuff coming, but right now it's just, it's a lot to set up and try to get the lighting and then the music in the background makes it hard. You guys, the train in the garage is hot. I'm going to get you guys some more content. Don't worry. I'm not going to keep you waiting any longer. Let's get into this box that I got from Ulta during the 21 Days of Beauty. We're just going to pull straight from the top and get into it. First thing on the top is this Mario Badescu skincare. This is their Spritz, Mist, and Glow set. This is their... which one? Facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea, aloe, herbs, and rose water, and then aloe, chamomile, and lavender. We know my skin has been dry, so I'm gonna, I plan on using this not to necessarily make my makeup last longer, but just when I'm feeling dry, a little pick me up, maybe a little morning zhuzh, I don't know. It, I just, I wanted some sprays that weren't makeup related. So we're just gonna see how these work. I don't know. I have not actually tried any of these. I got, I think this one for my birthday, but I haven't used it yet. So we'll see. Next, I got this Clarins Starter Kit. This is a skincare set to try out some of the Clarins stuff. It comes with their One Step Gentle Exfoliating Cleanser. It comes with their purifying toner, their moisturizer. It says Hydra Essential Cream Moisturizer. Then their Total Eye Lift and Instant Smooth Perfecting Touch. And then it says bonus sample of their serum. I don't know which one this is. Let me open this for you guys. So on the back, oh, it looks like one of these is a primer. Step one, cleanse and exfoliate. Step two, refresh with the toner. Step three, all-in-one eye lift. Step four, two-in-one serum. Step five, hydrate with the moisturizer. And then step six, award-winning makeup primer. Fills in lines, deep wrinkles, and enlarged pores. This was, I think, $28. Not sure. It doesn't matter. It says MSRP 28, so we'll go with that. But I just wanted to try some skincare stuff. I love getting these little sets because I put this stuff in my travel bag or sometimes I'll use it at home too, but mostly to travel. I got two of these sets right here. This was a gift with purchase and it comes with a hodgepodge of skincare stuff. I'm not gonna go through both of them because it's the same thing, but I'll tell you real quick. I think I got this with a $60 purchase. This is the Derma E Advanced Peptide and Collagen Serum. I've been looking for some good serums to add to my day and night routine besides just like vitamin C. So pretty excited to try this one. This is a big size. This is the Exuviance Normal to Combination Deep Clean AHA Cleanser. This is a pretty big size. This is two fluid ounces. So this will be good in my travel bag. This is the La Roche-Posay 50 Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Mineral Sunscreen. It says light fluid sunscreen, matte finish, non-whitening. Tested on sensitive skin. I don't know if this is going to leave a white cast. Never tried it, but always can use sunscreen. Then I got this Pacifica Kale Detox Deep Cleaning Face Wash. I've never tried anything from this brand, so I'm not sure how this is going to work. It says remove makeup, cleanse, and tone with coconut water, clay, and super greens. 
Uh, this says oily and blemish prone skin type. So I'm not sure I'm gonna use this because I don't have oily skin anymore, but we'll see. It might make my face really dry. This is the M Mario Badescu Glycolic Foaming Cleanser. I have used this before and I like it. So glad to have another travel size. Getting to the end, this is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream Transforming Moisturizing Super Cream. Nice size sample of that here. And then two more items. This is the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream Anti-Wrinkle Day Cream. So this will be good for daytime. And then the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream Hydrating Moisturizer. So glad that I got some stuff in here for dry skin. The oily skin stuff, I'm probably going to gift it. And like I said, I got two of them. Another gift with purchase I got is this Clarins set. Um, one of the days they had a Clarins serum, which I did pick up. And it was regular like $90 and it was on sale for $45. So these are the three trial size items that came with the set. Y'all got to know how to work the system. I feel like as much as we pay for these products, we should always get some kind of free gift or a sample or something. Sometimes I do miss out on items that I want because they'll sell out. But I usually try to wait till the end of the day and I keep checking my emails to see if they send out an email saying, hey, four hour beauty break. If you buy right now, then you'll get this gift or whatever. So anytime they have sales, I'll look for that. But this is the Clarins Multi-Active Night Cream, targets fine lines, normal and combo skin, perfect. This is the Hydrating Toning Lotion, normal to dry skin. And then this is the Multi-Active Day Cream, targets fine lines. All of it, all the lines, all the nighttime, daytime, whatever. This will be perfect. All right, the next thing I picked up is this Kanuka CBD Harmonizing Face Cream. This, it says, apply, apply one pump to clean dry skin. I've never tried this brand. And from what I read, it is a luxurious, lightweight cream made with a unique combination of CBD and Manuka honey. Delivers a burst of hydration for smooth, soft skin that glows. Yes, glowy, hydrating, here for it. Next, I picked up the ColourPop Boudoir Noir Palette. I picked this up, it was on sale, normally $16, it was on sale for $10.80. And I picked it up because I was looking at swatches of it and I did not realize that one of these shades is kind of olivey. I like ColourPop and yeah. Other than this glitter in the middle, I just thought these shades were so pretty. And yeah, you see these olive colors here at the bottom. Y'all know me and my olives. So are y'all surprised? Are you really? I didn't know that these colors were in this palette and I didn't know it ran that deep. And then I saw somebody do a video with it and I was just like, I think I need to get that. So glad I was able to pick it up on sale. Next, I picked up the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. This is their airbrush finish powder in translucent. This is just a white looking powder, but it is in the press form in a pan. And I picked this up because I have my Sacha pressed powder in my travel bag, but it's yellow. And as you guys know, if you've been watching, I have kind of steered away from the yellow powders and I've liked more of a beige or a translucent. So I figured I would go ahead and pick this up while it's on sale. I do have a small size of this. So I know that I like it and I've used it before. And so that's why I was like, just go ahead and get the big size. Next, I have this CoverGirl Simply Ageless Instant Wrinkle Blurring Press Powder. I forgot whose channel I saw this on. This is in the shade Tawny but i heard that it's supposed to be really good for smoothing out this area here and y'all know how we deal with these forehead wrinkles so i just wanted to try it and actually i didn't get this from ulta i picked this up from cvs i had a 40 percent off coupon and some dollars extra care bucks so i think i might have paid eight dollars for this this is expensive it's like 16 17 dollars so that's why I picked it up at CVS with the 40% off instead of at Ulta. Next, I picked up the Gimme Brow. I think I picked up, yeah, I picked up two of these. One in the shade four and a half and one in the shade six. 
These look very similar, but I don't know if you guys can tell, if you can see my brows today. I've been trying to grow them out and I'm doing a bit of a more bushier brow as opposed to like super sculpted. So what I'll do is I'll trace around the bottom and then I'll kind of trace in the front a little bit just to make it more defined. And then I'll use a brow gel with color to kind of fill in here and just, you know, I don't know. I'm liking this kind of bushy look. So I'm sure I'll still do sculpted for more glam looks, but just for today, I liked how this turned out. And this is how I do my brows if I'm going to the gym or if I'm just doing like a light makeup day. Next, I picked up the Hey Honey Look Into My Eyes Retinol and Propolis Eye Mask. This is a leave-on regenerating anti-aging treatment. I have noticed in some of my videos that for whatever reason, sometimes around this area on me looks super dry and wrinkly and I don't like it. Actually, the video that I just did, I think it was my haul number two video. I just, my makeup did not look great that day and I didn't notice it until I was editing it that I was just like, why are your wrinkles showing so much? So I don't know, I'm still trying to figure out what works for my skin and what doesn't and what helps smooth it out. Cause right now, I mean, I did my makeup, I've been moving my brows, she's smooth. She looks good. And maybe it's the foundation I use, maybe it's a primer, I use different stuff today, I don't know. But either way, we're gonna work on these under eye wrinkles and just making sure we can stay out of the dermatologist and out of the plastic surgeon's office for this Botox, all this stuff. I'm not ready for that yet, so more skincare. Next here is the Clarins Double Serum. This says Hydric and Lipidic System. This is a complete age control concentrate. I have not tried this before, but like I said, I've been looking for serums to help with anti-aging. So this says the only bio anti-aging serum with a two-phase Hydric, which is water soluble and lipidic oil soluble formula that for the first time decodes the language of youth, blah, blah, blah. Firms and visibly reduces the look of fine lines and wrinkles, improves radiance, even skin tone, and reduces the appearance of pores. So that's why I picked that up. And like I said, it was $90, but it was on sale for 45. So perfect time to try it. I also picked up this Strivectin Multi-Action Super C Retinol. This is a brightening and correcting vitamin C serum. Like I said, we're working on skincare right now. You guys saw, if you were here from the beginning, you saw I had acne. My skin was really oily. Now, since I've used Accutane, I don't have the acne anymore, but my skin is dry and I have hyperpigmentation. So now we got to work on that. So I just wanted to try this to see if it would help. Next, this has been sitting in my cart forever. This is the Kapari Coconut Crush Scrub. This is 40 bucks. It was half off. And that's the only way, oh, I wanna smell it, but I don't wanna open it. I can't smell it through the top. Anyway, this is a scrub. I love Kapari's skincare. And I also feel like I have, I have a face oil by them and I have their deodorant. I just wanted to try this. And like I said, it's been sitting in my cart for months. And when I finally saw that it was gonna get on sale, I had to grab it. We do have some more palettes in here. <laughs> But I'm going to get to those in a second. The next thing is this Grande Cosmetics Grande Mascara. You guys know I love the Grande Cosmetics Lash Serum. I've been raving about that. I have one or two backups. I'm using the, I forgot the brand, but it's the Lash Food right now. As soon as I'm done with that, I'm going back to my Grande Cosmetics. But the idea of being able to use a mascara that also helps on top of that any help we can get because sometimes I struggle with lashes and I don't want to fight. So hopefully this works and it's a good formula. That's another thing. But I will keep you posted on this. This beautiful bag is also another gift with purchase that I got on one of the days that I ordered. This is some Ulta Beauty products. This is their poreless face primer, small size, put in my travel bag. There are some on the go cleansing makeup remover wipes also in my bag and then this is their clear brow gel their jelly gloss lip gel this is in the shade starfish this is really cute and then also a matte black 
what is this automatic eyeliner love automatic retractable liners so honestly these will work but i was just i like this bag <laughs> not even gonna lie this is probably gonna replace the bag that i have in my purse right now just because the blue kind of goes with my car i don't know but yeah super cute next item is this lancome la base pro this is the perfecting makeup primer smoothing effect I believe I used to have a small sample of this and I tried to wear it when my skin was oily and it was just a no-go. So this was on sale for half off and I was like, you know what? I can probably wear this now. So we're going to go ahead and try it as if I don't have enough primers. Next thing I picked up is the Urban Decay Brow Blade. This is a waterproof pencil and ink stain. Like I just said, bushier brows not necessarily as sculpted so i wanted to try this this is in the shade dark drapes which is a dark brown so i'm gonna open both sides of it this side is the pencil and then this side is it almost looks like a felt tip not a felt tip a brush tip eyeliner oh that's pretty dark oh yeah that'll be good so this line here is the liquid and then that's the pencil yeah so I think that'll be cute. And if it's waterproof and long wearing, that will be even better. Next thing I picked up, I picked up two shades. This is the Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape. This just came out. We all know how amazing shape tape is, but we also know how drying shape tape is. And for somebody who is dealing with fine lines and wrinkles and dry skin, doesn't go together. So I still use my shape tape. I just make sure that I use a very good under eye cream before I put my makeup on. But I just wanted to try this to see how much different the formula is. And I also wanted to compare it to the e.l.f. Cosmetics Hydrating Concealer because they have their camo concealer in regular, which is a dupe a lot of people say for the shape tape. So maybe this is a dupe for the hydrating one. I'll keep you guys posted. I decided to go ahead and pick up a backup of my Kylie Cosmetics Skin Concealer in the shade Sesame. You guys know I love this. It was on sale for $8, normally $20, so I have one. I've only used a couple times. I don't care. I bought another one. I also picked up this Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil in the shade, well, it's not a shade, but it's in the flavor Jojoba and Peach. I like using these on days like under my makeup, if I'm about to do my makeup or if I just want some hydration but I don't want color. I keep this in my purse. Janet also loves these so I bought her one too. I was excited about trying this. This is the Kinship Self Reflect Probiotic Moisturizing Zinc Oxide Sunscreen. This is SPF 32. I believe that this one is a I don't want to open it because I already have enough open. Yeah, I'm not going to open this. But if you can see on the packaging, you see how it kind of has that iridescence to it. This is supposed to be a glowy sunscreen. And I wanted to compare it to the Super Goop one because I love that. And I just like having different options for sunscreen. I've been really diligent about putting my sunscreen on, but I don't like the ones that turn your face white. So hopefully this doesn't do this because if it does, it's going back. I also picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. This is in the shade Dark Brown. I have this, but it is so dried out. I'm literally just like trying to scrape it. So I'm just going to throw away my old one and I'm going to use this one. I also picked up two of their clear brow gels. I told you guys this is one of my favorite brow gels. It was one of the first ones I used and so it was on sale so I grabbed a couple of them because I'm currently out of this one. I also picked up this Color Wow Root Cover Up. It says camouflages roots and dark regrowth instantly. This is in the shade dark brown. Y'all I use this for my grays. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, it gets on my nerves. When I part my hair right in my part, I have gray hairs. And sometimes it looks worse than others. I've also seen that some people use this for areas where their hair is a little thinner. And my hairline right here in the front on both sides is a little thinner than I would like it to be. It's not balding, your girl has her edges, don't worry. But 
Sometimes I will use something like this just to kind of fill in or to help with the gray. So it was on sale, wanted to try it. Last but not least, eyeshadow palettes. Nabla Cosmetics had a day where their some of their palettes were half off. So I picked up Poison Garden and Secret. I have no excuse. I love eyeshadow palettes and if I can get them on sale, I will. This I mainly picked up because of this blue because of this purple and because it just, I don't know, just because. <laughs> I'm not gonna sit here and try to make excuses. I wanted to try it. I love their formula. I have a video guys that I have not uploaded yet, but I used one of their palettes and it came out so pretty and I just, I need to finish editing it. I'll get it out. But I love their formula and these palettes, because they're bigger, they're like $40. So I got it for half off and that just made me more excited to get it. This other one is also gorgeous. It kind of reminds me, it's not as bright and as like ultraviolet, like neon as the Riviera palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills, but it kind of reminded me of that a little bit. And these colors, I'm sure this is like a blue iridescent this color, like these right here, <laughs> the whole damn palette, I don't know. I just, sale guys, what else can I say? All right guys, that is it for this video. That is the bottom of the box. I waited until everything came in so I could film it all together and show you everything at once. I didn't have time to get out a recommendations video because honestly, I wasn't sure I was gonna pick up this much stuff. And then here we are. So yeah, of course you guys will be seeing this coming up in a future video. So if you're not subscribed already, click that button and turn on your notification bell so you know when they're up. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.